Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how to control a servo motor using Robot DK. Hope you enjoy. Alright, the first thing we want to do is download and install Robot DK. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded Robot DK, but if you haven't, you could just go ahead and search robotdk.com slash download and download the latest version of Robot DK. Once you've done that, you can continue on to the next step. Alright, now that we have Robot DK set up, in order to create our own custom robot, we need to get models of a servo motor. In this case, I'm using an MG996R servo motor. And the key thing to keep in mind is in order to get these files, we if we take a look here in our model and create to create model, as you can see, because we're creating a servo motor, we need a base object and a joint object. In this case, the joint object, which is the attachment here, or the spinning motor on the servo, is what we are using to turn and control the uh, servo motor physically. So we need to find a model of just this servo and the attachment here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go onto Google Chrome. And my favorite website to go to for 3D models is GrabCAD. So let's go to grabcad.com slash library. Now note, you will need an account in order to download anything, but let's just search up MG996R. And we need two files. We're looking for this. So this is actually a really good example I'm gonna download. This is our base. And now we need the attachment for downloading. So. Download the base here, and let's download an attachment. Let's see if we can get a good one. Mm. Aha! Here we have a pretty good one. Um, now note this is a very um, bad example, uh, there will be, but the whole purpose of this tutorial is just to teach you how to control it. Um, it, this of course doesn't match with the MG996R servo motor, but you're welcome to try it yourself, um, you're encouraged to, but if for this, the purpose of this demonstration, we won't be doing that. So I'm going to download this. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and open up our file explorer and now we have the two downloads we will need to extract them and here extract this as well um, we have the STP file so let's go ahead to robotdk and drag these files into and now as you can see we have our base and we also need to import our civil arm perfect so now we have our two objects and we can continue on just now coding and controlling the actual server water now that we have our model we can actually first start to create our um, uh, mechanism or our server motor in robot decay in order to do this now that we have our two files we are going to go to tool, uh, Utilities, and you will see the Model Mechanism or Robot. This will allow you to create any type of robot uh, from any axis, so up to 7 axis to 1 axis. In this case, because the servo motor only has 1 axis, just rotating, we are going to choose the 1 rotative axis. And now, since we talked about which is our base and which is our actual joint, we know that this is going to be our base which is this part right here, and then the attachment, which is this part right here, is what's actually be spinning and controlling our thing. So let's set the base as our Tower Pro MG996R, and our, our joint is the servo arm. So let's click OK. And now as you can see, we have a new mechanism. If we zoom in on this and we can slide this, you'll see it turns. Now it's very uh, weird and bad example, like I said, but this is what we're going to be working with today. So as you can see, we can turn it, and we're going to code it now. So stay tuned. Quick pause. I just want to say thank you so much, Robot Decay, for sponsoring this video and providing with license for our team 
um, that does FLL competition, which is the first LEGO League robotics team. I just want to say, it is one of the best simulation softwares I've ever used. If you don't know what Robot DK is, it is a very simple and easy and intuitive robot simulation for general applications to industrial robots and industrial applications. Instead of having to work hard daily at night finding the software I need just to do a simulation or using Unity to do very, these complex simulations, I can just now, with a click of a button, I can browse any industrial robot I want, import it into Robot Decay, or even create my own in SolidWorks uh, also, thank you to SolidWorks for also sponsoring us with some license, but also using SolidWorks to export my own uh, robots and import them into um, Robot DK to do all these complex simula uh, simulations. I just want to say it is a blessing to have um, Robot DK as our partnership as they have been supportive our entire journey and I can't wait for them to keep uh, helping us and improving our journey in this FLL experience. Thank you so much, Robotic K, for sponsoring this video. Now that we are finished setting up all our models and mechanism, we can finally be encoded. In this case, in order to control this Arduino, we need to use the Python code, a special Python code, to send a signal to an Arduino code to then control this. Now, that sounds a little complicated at first, but I rest assure you, it's not. What I'm basically trying to say is, we need to create two codes. First, an Arduino code, which takes the input and reads the input from a serial port, um, the angle in this case, and outputs it to the physical servo motor. Now, what does it receive from the serial port? It's an angle. Now, in order to receive that angle from the serial port, we create a Python code inside the robot decay function that gets the angle that we're spinning this and takes it to here. So, let's do that. In order to create a Python code, there is a big Python button right here with an add. You just click on this, and here we have the program one. Right uh, click it and click edit Python script. Now you're gonna see all of this. This is very important, but for our purposes, we don't need it. And I'm going to get the code. Uh, you can find it in the link of the in the link um, in the description. I'm pasting it here. I'm gonna go through the code right here. So first what we're doing is we're importing the serial port. Now the serial is a, the most important part as we are taking the output from the angle of the robot decay and importing it to a serial port which can then connect to Arduino and then the Arduino reads that angle to output it physically. Next time isn't that important but we have it there. Uh, robot link is just the robot decay API key and so now let's go for the code. In the beginning, we are setting RDK as our robot link. This helps connect to the robot DK API. And now we need to define our robot. So in this case, you look here. It's called my mechanism. So it is not my robot. It is called my mechanism. So make sure you rename that. And now we're going to generate robot movements. So I'm setting my target post as the post tool. Now what is the post tool? It grabs the angle from our joint axis and sends that to, as the variable or target pose. Now we are going to configure the connection. Make sure here you put the COM port your Arduino is plugged into. In this case, it's COM5 for me. And then I'm sleeping. Now, after we connect successfully, we are going to move the target, um, the target J, which is our uh, thing here in the model to our target position. Once we wait, we're waiting for the robot to complete the movement. And then we're sending the actual servo through a servo write system, which encodes it and then sends it to the angle. Then we're gonna close the serial connection and close the robot decay. Disconnect from the robot decay API. It's very straightforward. So make sure you save. And now when we run this, once we finish the Arduino code, it will work. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now we're going to code the Arduino code. First, you have to make sure you have Arduino installed. If you don't, you can go to Google and type Arduino download. Should be the first link software, and you can download the latest version. For me, I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it. And as you can see here, we are going to now create a new file. So here. And 
and basically, we're like I said, after we output, uh, output the Python code's angle, we need to read it. In order to read it, this is what's using it to read, which is the Arduino code. So I've I provided the thing here. I'm gonna go for it. So first, we're including the servo package. This package is to control the servo motor physically. Now we are going to set up the baud rate. This is the same as the robot decay. Um, I've searched it up already. You can confirm it. And now you need to put the port that your the pin that your servo motor is connected to. Um, in this case, for me, it is servo pin uh, Arduino pin nine. And now what we're just doing is we're grabbing the serial. So this is what the Python code is outputting: the angle from the serial and controlling it to the angle, which then we write to the Arduino. Uh, to the servo motor. It's as simple as that. Uh, this file and everything will be in the link in the description, so you can go check that out and download it if you need it. And now we can finally begin testing. All right, the first thing we want to do is download and install RobotDK. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded RobotDK, but if you haven't, you could just go ahead and search robotdk.com slash download and download the latest version of RobotDK. Once you've done that, you can continue on to the next step. Okay, as, as you can, can see, I've set up my Arduino, and all the points are connected to the servo motor. Now, before we test, you must change some parameters. In this case, um, as we talked about in your Python code, you must change it to the correct COM port. Uh, in this case, and if, uh, it's COM3. If you want to check, you can always go to the device manager, and go to ports COM, and it should be the one here. Um, which is, in this case, says COM3. Another thing, you must check if you're using a different pin, um, is the pin number here. You must change that. But other than that, you should be good to go. So, in order to start testing, you must upload the code. In this case, I have a, a Mega, and it is on port, uh, port COM3. So, let's do that upload. Now that it's done uploading, it should reset back to zero. And now, if we move our thing, so let's go negative 52 degrees, and I run my Python code. Yeah, as you can see, it moved 52 degrees. So now if I, I say, and then the code goes back to zero, if I go to negative 238, run Python code. And see, it goes back to negative 238. So, there you have it. This is a quick, simple tutorial on how to control the um, robot decay with Arduino. Thank you for watching.